One of my favorite new features in PowerPoint 2010 is the ability to save your PowerPoint presentations as a video. Uh, and, it, and, it's, and it actually is really nice because not only do you save, it's not like it's just saving a, a basic PowerPoint file, but it's going to save your any type of media you've inserted audio, if you've inserted video and using some of the new video effects in PowerPoint 2010. Uh, transitions, animations, so some really nice things that you can do with it. So let me show you how that would work. So you just go, you create your presentation, go to File, and then you can go to Save and Send, and uh, then you can see that here's the Create Video option. When you click on that, you've got a few uh, things you need to consider. One of them is the resolution, so you can choose like a, a larger or HD version, uh, a smaller version for online and then a smaller version for uh, mobile devices. And, and the thing to consider is one is it outputs to WMV, which you can always convert to a different format later. And then the other thing is that you can, um, the smaller your resolution, the smaller the file size is going to be. So you want to kind of play around with that. Uh, one of the things I did find is when I did uh, practice some publishing, I didn't find the publishing to be very fast. So I would say if you're going to convert it to a video, make sure everything's exactly the way you want it to be uh, before you do the publish to video. Because whatever you have in PowerPoint, that's what the final output's going to be like. But you don't want to have to um, republish over and over again because that's the, I found it to be pretty time consuming to get, uh, to get PowerPoint to render everything quickly. Especially if you have transitions and animations and all of that. But anyway, you make your choices. Choose if you want to save your timings and narration and all of that. Then click on Create Video, and then you just save it as a WMV file, and then it'll go through the process of, of rendering it, and then you'll get a video. And um, even though you're working in PowerPoint, uh, you're not limited to creating kind of that PowerPoint-y bullet point look. You can do some pretty nice stuff. So uh, a good test for you if you happen to have PowerPoint 2010 is just go to File here. We'll start over. Go to File. Uh, go to New, and in the Sample Templates, You've got a few different um, pre-built uh, presentations, and a really nice one is this one called Five Rules. That was created by Nancy Duarte's group, and I actually have that open so we can take a look at it. So this is what it looks like in PowerPoint. As you could see, um, if we advance through some of these slides, uh, you've got some animations. Let's let's do the reading pane so you can kind of see what it looks like. So there it is in PowerPoint, and then you can see the transition from one slide to the next. Um, and that's what you're going to get in uh, in your video file. So this is just running PowerPoint. So you can see it's a pretty sophisticated PowerPoint file. And let me go ahead and exit out of that and go back to um, our normal presentation. So you can do some pretty nice stuff, build it in PowerPoint, and then publish it. And then here's what the uh, published output looks like. And I'll, I'll play it a little so you can kind of see that you get some really nice effects in there. Let me uh, speed that up. And so you get that bounce effect that's new in PowerPoint 2010. You see the animations, the slide transitions work here. And then um, you see the animations work. Um, let's see what else we have here. There are a few different uh, things that there's one where you, the photo zooms in. But uh, you can play around with it, publish it yourself. I would say break apart the way Duarte's group did it. And it kind of give you some uh, animation tips and tricks, but you can see it looks really nice and polished, and I would never have guessed that that was done in PowerPoint. I would have thought that was something created in Flash or a different authoring tool. But uh, it's pretty cool. Play around with it, test it out, and uh, and I think you'll do some pretty neat presentations. And again, the, the one thing you need to remember is that you're not going to retain the interactivity like the hyperlinking or things like that. So it really is a linear a presentation, just a regular movie.